Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today we're continuing our projects on our free crushed gold ore that we got from the unknown name mill. And, and what we've done on the very first project that we did, we took 100 grams of ore right out of the bag. We didn't crush it. We didn't wash it. We just put it in the uh, crucible with the, the right amount of charge or flux. And we smelted it. And uh, even though I spilt a little bit because we had an issue with the cupel, um, we got 0 0.072 grams of gold. And then the second project, what we did, we took eight pounds of that ore, we crushed it up, we washed it, we took out the concentrate, we smelted it up and got nothing. And we ended up with basically an empty uh, cupel with a, a tiny bit of uh, lead in it. And so today what we've done, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take 150 grams of this crushed ore that's been washed. We're going to put the right amount of charge or flux in it. We're going to smelt it up and then we're going to pour it in the cone mold and get a, a, a lead prill and we'll cupel it to see if there's any precious metal inside the ore. And so that is our project today. It's something that I needed to do to answer some questions that I've had. If any of you have any ideas or any uh, uh, questions for me, please leave me a comment below on the other projects that we did, the past previous projects. Oh, I've gotten some really good comments and I deeply appreciate them. And so please feel free to leave me your comment, your insight, because I'm always willing to learn and I could use your help. And so anyway, let's get this project going. Here is the crushed and washed ore that we got out from our last project and what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of this and we're going to smelt it up and see if there's any precious metal inside of here. Here we have our 150 grams of ore that we had crushed and washed out. I took, a, I took 100 grams of the finer material and 50 grams of the coarser material and uh, mixed it that way. Now we're going to add in our flux. Here we have our 150 grams of ore, 150 grams of borax, 150 grams of soda ash, 150 grams of Chapman's flux, 100 grams of silica sand, 50 grams of potassium nitrate, 45 grams of high litharge with flour. We're going to heat up our furnace and crucible and we'll get this um, charge going. Our furnace is now heated up and we're going to put our clay crucible into the furnace. Okay, much to my surprise, we got the whole 150 grams of or inside the crucible and plus the 150 grams or basically 150 grams of, of charge inside the crucible and so now we'll wait for for it to heat up and melt and then we will pour it in the cone mold
and our lead frill weighs 12 to 13 grams depending upon which way the wind is blowing. Well, this concludes this project for today. And as you can see, we got more gold in this smelt that was in inside the ore than what we got on the last smelt when we had crushed the ore, we washed it out and got the concentrate. So with this ore, there is the process is different. You can't really wash it. And so I have one more test that I'm going to do with uh, one of the three bags that we have left over from the unknown name mill. I'm going to crush it up really good in the K&M rock crusher. I will take about 130 grams of that and uh, smelt it without washing it. And we'll see how much material or how much gold we get out of it. And so anyhow, I'm glad you're here with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did smash that like button, share it on your channel because you never know who may like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe and become part of our AU family. And we're glad you're here and we will see you on the next one.